We present Cyclogenesis, a novel framework for the simulation of tornadoes, hurricanes and related phenomena. Our first principle-based model describes the interplay of turbulent wind fields, water in the atmosphere and debris in the ground, from which these storms can naturally emerge. The two main parameters are the eddy mixing coefficient CE and the wind shear W. The combination of both increases the likelihood of vorticities which ultimately lead to the formation of rotating storms. Besides those, our model contains additional physical parameters and by adjusting these a wide range of different characteristic tornado shapes can be generated. Here we see a rope tornado. It is characterized by a very thin but elongated vortex tube. A thicker shape results in a funnel tornado, the perhaps most stereotypical tornado shape. Very wide tornadoes are called wedge tornadoes. Not all tornadoes touch the ground. Here we see a bowl-shaped tornado hovering over the landscape. In rare conditions, multiple tornadoes form in direct vicinity. Such a multi-vortex scene is shown here. Contrary to other tornadoes, the landspout formation begins at the bottom from where it grows into the sky. The dust devil is similar to this, but forms in hot and dry environments. The scene parameters can also be adjusted over time. This allows us to capture the complete life cycle of a tornado from its formation until its decay. It is also possible that a tornado changes its type throughout its lifetime. Here we see a tornado that starts off as a wedge tornado to slowly transform into a funnel tornado before ultimately decaying. Compared to previous work, our method is capable of producing more detailed tornado shapes. We are also capable of recreating large-scale phenomena, such as Hurricane Katrina, that occurred in 2005. Its formation began over the Atlantic Ocean, from where it traveled towards the Gulf of Mexico. There it grew to its full strength, reaching Category 5 on the Sapphire simpson scale, before hitting the coast of Louisiana and Mississippi as a strong Category 3 hurricane. Due to the large scale of the scene, the hurricane is simulated inside a moving coordinate system where the environmental parameters are adapted from real atmospheric measurements for each frame. The result is a convincing recreation of the shape of the actual hurricane throughout its lifetime. A cycle.